Hello, welcome to Chart Mining. In this video, we're going to review the new RTX 2080 Ti and 2080. Actually, we are not going to review it because nobody has it at the moment. We're going to talk about those cards and what we think about it, if they're good for mining or not, and what about for gaming. Keep tuned for the video. Okay, here in my table, I have the 1080 and the 1070. So if we know about those cards when mining, this card 1070, it should be worse than this one for mining, of course, right? Because 1070 and 1080. But we're gonna show you some tests, and uh, we, what we're gonna show on this is, this card is actually worse than this one for mining. Why? Because the memory type that it uses is GDDR5X, and they use the same 8 gigabyte of uh, memory, but this one is uh, worse performance for mining than this one. So how you can see here, uh, we have the 1070 already connected. And in this case, we're using the Chark OS and we are mining um, Ethereum with this card. Uh, the only overclock setting that we're gonna apply to both cards will be uh, core clock 50, memory clock 700, which is like 350 in uh, after burning Windows. And the fan speed will be 70% and the power consumption on this card will be 160. As you can see here on the top, as you can see here on the top, we're getting 29.42 mega hatches on this car. And the power consumption of this car right now is 143. So not even 160. Now let's try the same car with the 1080, which it will give us, it should give us a better performance of mining Ethereum, right? Because it's a better car. Let's try it out. So here we have now the 1080. And as you can see here, um, the overclock settings are the same. We're using core 50, memory clock 700, fan 70, and power uh, 160. Now, this card with the same overclock setting is giving us 22.50 compared with the 1070, which is giving us uh, 29.45 mega hatches. So, what it means is it, done is, uh, it won't expect uh, of the new RTX card to be even better for mining than the 1080 Ti. They should because they have better performance and the, for the first time the ship is different compared with the Pascal, so we need to test and they are using GDDR6, but that doesn't mean that will be like 100 mega hatches uh, mining Ethereum. We need to test it and see how it goes. Now, for example, let's do in this one, uh, the only thing we can do is apply all gold uh, Ethereum large man pill this uh, feature is available for the 1080, 1080 Ti, and the Titan XP. So we, that give you a little bit more performance mining Ethereum. We're going to apply that for the 1080 and see how will be the performance now. Also, we are not going to limit the power. So I'm just going to let it use the whole power of the video card. And now with the enlargement pill, you see, it went from 22 to 33. So like 10 mega hatches more per performance. But that is because of the of this uh, small script of software that this company made uh, in order to modify something on the BIOS or giving better performance of these cards and making them make them to work better for Ethereum. So yeah best you can do in this card is 33.61 actually that's the same performance that you get at 1080 ti without applying the pill when you apply the pill for the 1080 ti then you get 50 mega hatches it's like 20 mega hatches better performance so what it tells you is these cards they can mine more if they i optimize it for this task but they optimize it just for gaming and rendering all these kind of things but not for mining if you if nvidia for example release a video card just for uh, mining, they can optimize it for it and modify the BIOS settings in order to not cook, to, not to consume too much power, and get the most uh, and get the most has rate you can get from your video card. So now let's talk about the new RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti. These cards they have a new feature called ray tracing, and uh, this technology, technology what it does is uh, is better shadows actually and better uh, reflections in real time for the first time. But what I think about this is what happened before. We remember with the old video cards uh, when the new anti-lacing came up to the market, uh, what happened was we activate the anti-lacing and the performance on the game 
drops a lot on the frames per second. That's what gaming cares, care, cares about. Now in the new, this new video card, the RTX 2080 and 2080 Ti, what I think, nobody knows uh, at this moment, but what I think is when you activate the ray tracing, uh, you're gonna have a drop in performance compared with uh, if you don't activate this feature. Actually, this feature uh, will work with the new DirectX uh, from Microsoft. It will be just for ray tracing, and we have to wait until the new developers work with these games to see how they're gonna perform actually when gaming. Another important point here is the frame per second, because in the NVIDIA conference, as you can see here, they talk about ray tracing, giga rays, and uh, they, they never talk about what people were interested in, it, which is frame per second. Put a game, let me see the frame per second when you activate the, uh, the ray tracing technology and without the ray tracing technology. They don't show that. So we have to actually see this car, how they're gonna perform. And don't expect this car to be huge for mining because they can, but also they cannot, because we need to test it. All the software, all the miners that is on the market, they need to be implemented with these new drivers from NVIDIA. And we need to see if they are stable and they actually work like they say. Another point here that you can see on the pictures of this car is uh, the fan. For example, we have the EVGA, the 2080 Ti, and you can see on the back, they have three plates on the back. So they're gonna cover three places on the motherboard. And this is huge. The fan, the heat sink is very big compared with the different version with 2080 Ti. And uh, this telling you something, this car is gonna be hot or not, we don't know, and the power consumption is gonna be more. We need to test it, we, know, we don't have the closed car, but for sure we're gonna have it. We made the pre-order, we pre-ordered the 2080 and 2080 Ti, uh, four of them, and we're gonna make a test. As soon as we get them, we're gonna make a test for gaming, and we're gonna make a test, of course, for mining with the latest software. Another point important here, not too many people is talking about this, is the gaming consoles. Most of the games, they came out from the gaming console like PS4 or, uh, or Xbox One X. And this gaming console, they're using AMD chips inside. So they don't care about ray tracing technology. That's one thing, for example, all the games that's gonna come out to the market, don't expect all of them to use the new technology. I would say maybe 20% of them, they will start using it, but it's better to wait until the next video cards coming to the market. And then you will see how it's real performance compared with this new version of this car. Too many people have been talking about the 1080 Ti, that now is not worth it, and uh, the 2080 Ti is gonna be 10 times better, or uh, I don't know, five times better performance. I really don't think this. What I, we we're gonna see here, I would think it will be more than uh, previous generation, when you get 25% uh, better performance on the new cards. But we have actually see it because, for example, we have tested two 1080 Ti, running at 4K and they run 60 frames per second, all the game pretty nice. So I don't think that this car, just one, is gonna run more than 60 frames per second just with the ray tracing technology. I mean, with the ray tracing technology activated. But we never know. We're gonna test it and we're gonna see what happens with it. So final thoughts about the new cards is no pre as it's better to wait for the people doing tests before buying this card because they're not cheap. Uh, the 2080 Ti, we're talking about $1,200. And uh, that's a lot for a video card. I remember when the 1080 Ti came up to the market, there was $700, which is normal because you're paying for the top of the line. And also, also we are using the, we're waiting for the 2070, that we are not gonna, we, we don't know if they're gonna implement the ray tracing technology or not. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like, thumbs up, give us a comment. We're gonna be more than happy to answer any, any comment that you have. And we see you on the next video.